when you start trying to make long, complicated ten men figures, it helps to know a little bit about what I call the almost collapse. If I do a C prime, A, B, A, and extend, I have the ten men figure. That means that C prime AB is essentially the weave A by itself, if you have finished all three of those weaves. So if I want to have more complex information in a system such as that, I will interrupt or frustrate that collapsing of the C prime AB into the A itself by doing a C prime. A universe A. B, and it doesn't collapse into all that information is now stored. And I want to put an A prime on that because that's almost an A, A prime. Now I'm going to use a B universe, pull down the near lower index, C, B universe C pulls the figure back up over the top index, which is a very useful idea when you're making long complex figures such as this. A, and again I'm going to frustrate that, A universe A prime, so it's an almost an A A prime, A. Now I'm going to use a B prime to finish and I'm going to lift this out. And you can see that it's a very complex thing. It is C prime a universe A, B, A prime, B universe C, A, A universe A prime, A, B prime. Now I'm going to transfer this on my hand so I can clean the top and use the power lift so that you can see that that figure is a very interesting complex figure and if you can zoom in on that, you can see some very interesting details. The thing I like best about it are these little wraps, double wraps there. And the fact of the matter is that using my almost collapse, and there I will have a long discussion about that in the book, you can make a whole series of long complex bridges, if you will, in the Tin Men system using the concept of the almost collapse by just frustrating the resolution of a complex series of weaves into a simple weave.